What's up gamers, today I'll be explaining Fraps 3.5.99, the latest version 2017. So let's do this. First when you start Fraps you will see these options first, the general options. I'll be explaining one by one so sit tight and leave a like. First Fraps starts minimized, if you click on these options the Fraps will start minimized which is not a big deal. Run fraps when Windows starts. If you click on this option, the fraps will start whenever you start your Windows. And it will happen like automatically. If you start your Windows, you will see the fraps is already running. And then, uh, monitor arrow desktop, leave it on the default and minimize the system tray only. If you want your fraps to be minimized in the system tray, so you can click on this option. It's not a big deal. So these are general and not a big deal options. Just leave them on default. Go to FPS. Normally people have a misunderstanding which is if you press the hotkey of FPS it will take a screenshot in your game. No, this is not. I'll be explaining you one by one. So first, there you have to select the folder you want to export your uh, benchmarking. You can just simply change it from here and you can just view the folder from here. You can view the folder like mine is here, so empty, blah blah blah. This is the benchmarking hotkey which is very important. You can simply change it like, wait, if you want to F, F okay, it's, it's totally up to you. You can, you can change it no problem the second thing how your benchmarking uh, will be exported if you want it to be FPS frame uh, frame times min max average it's up to you the next thing is stop benchmarking after 30 seconds you can do it how many seconds you want if you want it to uh, stop benchmarking on like 10 seconds you can you can change it from here you can just simply change it from here and if you don't want to stop your benchmarking after 10 seconds you don't have to mess up with the settings simple the next option is very important the overlay hotkey the overlay basically the fps counter on your game uh, you can just simply change the position of your overlay uh, if you want it on the left up corner you can just simply change it from here here uh, whatever you want you can just simply uh, change the position and you can also hide the overlay by by clicking here uh, if you want your overlay to be visible you can just simply click on here but when you are in game you can't just do it in every game you can just simply press the hotkey of your overlay which will change your overlay's position like mine is f12 whenever i press f12 position is actually changed you can simply see like if i press f12 on the game it will change the overlay's position like this if i press f12 position is actually changing and if i want to hide i can simply hide it too i want my overlay to be visible so yes I will go with this settings and the last option only update overlay once a second I highly recommend you not to click on it but if you click on it what will happen your overlay will refresh in every one second if you do that it will look kind of awkward and if you don't click on it it will be like normal like it will refresh uh, every short time possible so I recommend you to not to click on it so simple and then the movies options okay this is the very important options so you have to be like you know attentive first these are the folders where you will export your movies or videos uh, like my folder is this and you can simply change the folder from here if if, uh, if you want it's up to you and the second thing the video capture hotkey like example mine is f2 you can just simply change it one whatever you want if you want it to be backspace you can just simply have it if you want it to be uh, like f12 you can have it i want my hotkey to be f2 it's, it's up to you also what hotkey you like next video capture settings if your pc is like you know a good pc can run games on 60 fps so you can just click on the 60 fps but if your pc is like me like normal not so good so you can just stick with 30 fps you can just simply change it from here the second thing is full size half size if you want your video size to be full you can just simply click on it if you want your video exporting size to be less you can simply press half size but I recommend you to go with the full size because if you go with full size you will have the exact quality and then you can just simply less the video size without dropping the quality I will show you that too so just sit tight and leave a like again okay the next thing is loop buffer length if you don't know what it is just 
leave it on the default don't need to mess up with this and the next option is split movie every 4 gigabytes if you want your videos to be part and split it you can just simply click on this option but if you don't want it if you want your videos to be in one single part just don't click on it it's as simple as that so it's all up to you if you want to split your video just click on it if you don't just don't the next option is very important sound capture settings if you click on the record win 7 sound it will record your game sound so be careful to check it out and then how you want your sound capture settings is it stereo multi-channel I recommend you to go with stereo it's like normal the next thing record external input if you have a good mic or something like that and if you want your voice in the video then just click on the record external input if you don't want to if you just only want the game sound just just only click on the record win 7 sound so it's actually so simple and there's actually an extra option if you want your voice to be in you can have your voice in a specific places where you actually want click on this only capture while pushing click on this and then press your favorite hotkey or button same simple as that and whenever you will be holding this button your voice will be recorded if you want your voice in all over the video just simply click record so you can actually have that it's actually a variety you can actually test it and the next options are like hide mouse cursor in video if you click on it the mouse cursor won't be visible on the video simple settings and the next one is lock frames frame rate while recording if you don't have a good PC just don't click on it just leave it on the default and the last one just leave it on the default so simple don't need to mess around with this setting the last thing the screenshots options first the folders where you want to export your screenshots uh, if you want to change your folder you can just simply change from here so simple so easy I, I know you guys can do it the screen capture hotkey so choose this hotkey wisely because you will need it the most and you can just simply change uh, whatever you want as always and lastly the image format how your screenshot types will if you want your screenshot to be JPG type you can just simply click on the JPG uh, your screenshot will be exported as JPG files and if you want to to PNG you can just simply it's it's actually image formats it's not a big deal but but I recommend you to stick with JPG or PNG because 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 these are the most common last two settings screen capture settings include frame rate overlay on screenshot uh, I will okay so let me show you what are these if you click on this uh, wait uh, changing my okay now you guys can watch it clear like whenever you take a screenshot your overlay will remain if you click on this option if you don't click on it just just uh, your overlay won't be appear in your screenshot I think if you want to show off your FPS or, or you know overlay you can just simply click on it it will take a screenshot of your overlay of your FPS counter simple as that and lastly repeat screen capture every 10 seconds okay the last option is optional option if you click on repeat screen capture in every 10 seconds it will take screenshot in every 10 seconds but your hotkey must be pressed this is very important if you press your hotkey your screenshot will be taken in 10 seconds not the time you press so this is very important and you have to keep pressing the hotkeys over and over and again if you want your screenshot but it will take your screenshot in every 10 seconds like like I will give you an example like I am pressing F1 the uh, okay okay wait 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 first I have to click on it okay now if I press F1 okay it it is taking and and again I am pressing F1 but it is not actually taking the screenshot it will only take screenshot after 10 seconds so this is the option and I I don't think it is very you know important or something like that but you can have it and you can change settings and you can change the time also if you want it on 10 seconds or you know 20 seconds whatever you want it's it's up to you so this is fraps and I think I've explained to you the whole fraps so guys now let me show you how to less your video size without losing the quality we got the clip and so now we got the clip and let's see where the video is actually right now wait 
so this is the new exported video. As you can see, the, the video length is 1.1.2 minutes and the video length is 1.06 gigabytes. So how to let the size open your video editor any single i use cam here so you can also use it uh, but but you can also use movie maker or your simple editor simple as that just simply enter the video just simply enter the video wait nfs uh place the video choose the size like i want to export in 720p so you can you just simply choose your pixels or something like that and then simply uh, export simply export uh wait just simply export as you guys can see the both videos are here the right one is exported from fraps which is actually 1.06 gigabytes and the left one is exported from the video editor which is 72.2 megabytes only so this is a very good method and and you guys can see the quality uh, is pretty much is pretty much same. I hope this video helped you out. If this video helped you out, just leave a like. And if you are new, just subscribe. The more awesome stuffs are coming. And lastly, I will see you in the next shot. Until then, peace.